Now I've ran you through my jerkbait setup, and I'm gonna show you how I fish it and places I look for to catch fish in this you know, fall, winter time with a jerkbait. It's one of your best, best options. So we're going down here, we got a little point. That's always a good option. And I, I like a little bit of wind fishing a jerkbait. I think it gets those fish up a little shallower than they might be normally. Um, so I'm gonna target little windier banks. Another place I really like looking for this time of year is channel swing banks. Anywhere you got a little bit of deep water running in real tight to the bank. This time of year, we get a lot of crazy weather. You know, one day it might be 60 and sunny and the next day it might be 30 and snowing. So those real steep banks, those fish can move up and down on them real easy. If they wanna be in five feet of water, they can be. If they wanna slide out to 15 feet of water, they can be. So um, channel swings are always an awesome spot to look this time of year. Anywhere that deep water runs up real tight to the bank. And also points. Points are awesome feeding areas. Especially you get a little wind blowing on them. Great places to look for. But as I fish it, make a nice long cast. And I'll wind that bait down a little bit. Get that bait down in the strike zone a little bit. And get some depth out of it. Um, Another reason I, I prefer that deeper diving shadow wrap is because I have a lot more control of the depth. With, with the shallow one, there's only so much I can get out of it. With that deep one, I can get it down to its max depth. If I'm fishing a little shallower, I can throw some up jerks in there, keep that bait up a little bit higher. But this time here, it's going to be a lot more, a lot more subtle jerk bait fishing. I'm going to leave long pauses in there, and I'm not really going to work that bait real hard. It's going to be a lot more short twitches. You know, the fish are lethargic, they're not moving a lot. Keep that bait in their face. I, I like to give it a, usually a double twitch. Um, the cadence is real important to getting, uh, getting bites, but uh, the, the pace you're working it, that's the key. But I, I always kind of like to double twitch my bait. It gets that bait to go each side and kicks a flash off of it. So if that fish is on the left side of my bait or the right side of my bait, he's still getting a little bit of flash showing up um, rather than just a sw single twitch. So I, I, I like to double twitch it usually. It gives that little kind of back and forth, walk the dog kind of motion and throwing a flash off in each direction. So those fish can pick up on it a lot better. But now you don't want you don't want to be tight on that bait. Like right there, I'm tight and I go to jerk it, that bait's just gonna go forward. Um, you want to keep a little bit of slack in your line so that you're not actually hitting your bait until you're you know halfway through your jerk. That little bit of slack in there is gonna create um, more of an erratic action. When I hit that bait with the tight line and I jerk, it's just gonna go straight forward. But having that little bow in the line when I go to jerk it, it's gonna make that bait cut with that little bit of slack in there. That's real important to getting the best action out of your jerk bait. But, you know, a typical cast, I'm gonna throw it out there, wind it out, wind it down a little bit, and then it's just gonna be, you know, a couple real soft twitches and a little bit of a pause. And you're gonna have to feel it out, you know, some days, if you get on like a warming trend late in the year, you can actually get fairly aggressive with this bait where, you know, I'll almost jerk it the whole way back to the boat. It's still soft little jerks, but not putting a long pause in there. And just kind of, you know, keep twitching it soft and short strokes. But, you know, if you get some cold weather and the fish are really inactive, that's when those longer pauses really, uh, really become a factor. And that's something you're gonna have to feel out every single day. It's, and even throughout the day, that's gonna change. I wanna work it as fast as I possibly can where the fish will still eat it. But some days, you know, you might have to leave a eight, 10, 15 second pause in there just to get a fish to bite it. But, uh, you know, like I said, you're gonna feel that out throughout the day. Pay attention to when you're getting bit, how long it is on your pauses. We'll throw it out there. Like I said, wind her down a little bit. Give her a nice little double twitch. And then